surgery is a very interesting um, subject in a way because how do you measure success and whose success is it? Um, if you take the simplest kind of surgery where you've had a cut or a laceration and you get it stitched up, it's a, a, a technical skill really. Uh, you can train anyone to do it. Soldiers do it in the field and you can easily make it happen. James Bond probably does it. But the, as you move from that to an ever-increasing complexity of surgery, there is a combination of technical skill which is clearly important. Some people can do it and some people can't. Some people can play tennis and some people can't. Um, but, and, and at the beginning of most surgical specialties, there is certainly that surgeon at the pinnacle type thing. Uh, often, and particularly in cardiac surgery, the surgeon dictated everything, ran everything in obsessive detail, was completely accountable for it at the beginning of this profession. And as time's moved on, as, as we get better and better survival, the survival at this end is more and more related to the complexity of the team and the effectiveness of the members. So I can't do this job without a heart-lung technician, without an anaesthetist, without a good assistant, without one or two scrub nurses, without a technical and computer expert who keep the kit going. I can't do it without an intensive care doctor to look after the previous patient I did while I'm operating on this one. So they've got a whole team of people. We can't do it without a cardiologist who's an echocardiographer who can use the echo probe and understand it. I can't do it well without an MRI scanner that gives me functional measures of improvement. I don't know how well I've done without someone who understands how to measure quality of life. I certainly don't know how to measure the neurological assessment of someone who's gone to school in the future. So is, is a surgeon the most important person in this team? Absolutely not. It's the person who has the technical skill for that tiny bit of time. The technical skill you need to do all the other things is of equal value. I think that society maybe hasn't caught up with that concept and surgeons still, in a sense, are expected to be the focus of all this, especially in the US where they trade them. If, if something's going wrong with a unit, they tend to trade them for another surgeon. In, in this country, I think the team concept is better recognised. Uh, but still, you know, you know if a hole in the heart baby dies, it's the surgeon what's get, what gets panned in the daily grope. It's not, um, it's not the whole team usually.